We all know that you shouldn't do that. I don't think there's anybody can turn around and say what he did was correct. When you're sitting on the sideline and you've got a fourth official, and depending on the demeanour of the fourth official and the way he is, you're talking to him the whole game. And if he's a little smarty pants, you know what that's like. If he's condescending, if he tries to be over officious, there are so many things that go on in the how 90 can, minutes. How can a fourth official be over official? Uh, official. Over official. He's not officiating. Well, because I've never seen an official well, get in a manager's you. face, but I've seen managers get in an official's face. Well, I'm just telling tell you why you what, it happens. Jurgen Klopp and other managers. Are you sticking up for fourth officials here? I, I am actually, because what's a fourth? A fourth official has no impact really in what happens on the field. So why but, do these fourth no, officials have no, to take so much see, nonsense thing, because, from, from managers? Why? The manager should be banned and sent to the stand for the harassment they give somebody who's not refereeing a game. Uh, Mark, what did you make of Klopp's actions? I think Jurgen Klopp is a role model and this trans you know, transfers all the way down to grassroots. If we think that this is acceptable behaviour after they've just scored a winning goal to make it 4-3 and to harass the fourth official like it is and accept it, then we're completely wrong. We now need to look at this because, for me, Jurgen Klopp should have been clearly dismissed from the technical area and should be looking at a touchline ban or a fine, whatever the FA decide. That's not the referee's problem. That's up to the FA how they deal with it. But if we think that this is acceptable behaviour when we're now seeing it all the way down in grassroots, then, for me, this is just clearly nonsense. We have to now act. And I wish the referee had sent him off to set an example that we cannot accept coaches. OK, we can accept the coach having a word with a fourth official, maybe getting upset, but he clearly ran from distance. He's clearly got a problem with Paul Tierney, as we know, and therefore he's vented his anger at the poor fourth official. For me, this is not acceptable. Yes, Steve, you think of the children? At no stage did I say it was acceptable, you by the way. I didn't. Well, it, sounded, I th it sounded like I you're making an argument. You know what? That fourth I officials started, deserve what was the very, it. What is the very first thing I said to you? I hate fourth officials. Yes, yeah. The very first thing I said to you was, we all know it's not acceptable. And then I answered your question, by the way, because you asked me why he did it. And all I did was answer your question. But the reasons behind quite a defensive it. So don't tone start you coming out your nonsense. No, you had quite a defensive tone. Because I've you? been in the position where fourth officials are not exactly what they should be. I, I, under, I understand... But Klopp has to stand understand that he's a role model and can't do that. Well, listen, there's a lot of times when we, we lose our cool and we do things and then in hindsight we go, that was completely wrong. Oh, which do, I am, which I'm pretty place. sure Klopp's going to say he was completely wrong, which I am telling you again is completely wrong. All I was explaining to you was, you know, you've got to remember, you're sitting, right, and you're, in the, you're right in the middle of the game... And there's all kinds of emotions going through you. And you've got a fourth official, right, who is trying, because this is what, what they do. And, and, and again, I said it yesterday. Unfortunately, fourth officials have become punching bags. Yeah. Because they've been put in a position where that's what they are. And the worst thing for the coach is when a referee makes a decision which you know is wrong... And you always, you always go and try and use the fourth official as the sounding board. Mm -hmm. And the guy, for some reason, will try and explain away how the referee got it right when it's blatantly wrong. And all of these things build up, Dan. Should Klopp be banned? Should he be banned? He should certainly be fined. Should he be banned? I, I, I guess a certain touchline ban would be in order because you can't do it. You, we all know you can't do that. You can't, you can't behave like that. Certainly when you're Jurgen Klopp, you can't do it. So if he gets banned for a game, then I, I don't have any problem with it. I'm sure he won't have a problem with it. But again, as I said, I'm just explaining okay. how your emotions sometimes get the better of you, and that's what happens. I'm glad you changed your mind from yesterday, Shaq. Um, yes, it should be banned. And listen, I, I understand it's an emotional game and emotions are running, running high, but I, I don't think... I, I don't... You cannot defend um, approaching an, an official in, in that way, under, under any circumstance. Aside from which, we just hear, given Jurgen Klopp the benefit of the doubt, that the fourth official was trying to explain something away in well, a way... Stephen is. Well, I'm, I'm just saying. 
Whatever. I, at this point, at this you point, listen to what I, said. I, I, I never said that. Or, or you, were, you, but your your defence. I explained something that happened, right. that happened to me previously, all, all I'm which saying, winds you up. Okay. My, my, my point is, your defense of Jurgen Klopp and his actions were that sometimes force officials do this and try to explain away certain decisions. We have absolutely no idea what the force officials said. <laughs> we have no idea. He could have just been standing there all game long. We have no idea. So to, to offer some kind of an excuse to Jurgen Klopp, I, I, I don't think we're in a position to. I've got to say this again. I'm not trying to make an excuse for Jurgen Klopp. How many times have I got to say it? I'm explaining to you why he lost his cool. I've not once made an excuse for Jurgen Klopp. Right. I'm you, not you're, making you're, an excuse. All I'm what he did is wrong. And I said that. You are trying to make an excuse. I am excuse. trying to tell you why he lost his cool. That's not my fault. But we don't well, know. That's, that's we him. don't know why he lost his cool. We don't know what the fourth official said to him. But that's why I'm telling you what happens when you're sitting on the touchline and you're dealing with a fourth official that's for 90 you, minutes. That's you, Steve. We that's the reason why you get wound up. Hold, hold on. OK, that's you. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, we have no idea. You have dealt with fourth officials, and this has happened to you, and you've got wound up. But as we sit here, we have no idea about what happened between him and the fourth official, is all I said. Well, we clearly know that... But you clearly know. No. But I don't. No. Oh, so, just, so they, they haven't spoken to each other for 90 minutes, but he just... All I'm over. saying is, clearly you know... I don't. As I sit here, I have no idea. I was not tracking that. I was not following. I'm not offering Jurgen Klopp any kind of a get-out clause in this. That's I, all I'm saying. I don't, I don't think it's too difficult to work out that the two of them have had some words during the 90 minutes, uh, oh. which has ended up with him losing his cool. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.